Today we'll be unboxing a biker jacket by Master Supply Co. I previously already did an unboxing by them and it was a great experience, but this time we're gonna see how consistent they are and what the unboxing experience is like this time. Hopefully it will be the same, if not even better. First off, before we unbox it, let's talk about their customer service. Like always, they do a great job at responding to any questions or inquiries you have. For me, when I had any questions, they would respond within the same hour. Super helpful, super nice. So customer service, on point. Let's go ahead and box it and see what's inside. This box has a really nice pull tab, so it goes like this. Oh. Okay, that did too much. Good thing we have another pull tab. Oh, that was much better. Before we look what's inside, if you guys are not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you guys went down and smash the subscribe button. Be sure to leave a like. I really appreciate it and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now, let's go ahead and see what's inside. I'll give you guys the first look. Oh, what's inside? Do you guys see anything? So when I pull it out, of course, it comes in a black tote bag like this that says Master right here. What's really nice is that they have these straps over here for you to carry your jacket. See that? There's these nice straps. And the leather jacket is inside here, all covered and sealed really nicely with strings that you can wear. Look how convenient that is. I think this bag is also used for traveling. If you didn't want to wear it, you could pack it in here, put it in your suitcase. It's nice and compact. All right, let's go ahead and see what the jacket looks like. It has zippers to close it. Let me see if there's anything inside. All right, nothing else. All right, like I said, it has a zipper. Open it inside. First look, it's nice and soft. Nice and soft. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, ooh, look at this. It has bubble wraps back here. Ooh, this is so nice. But this is the biker jacket I got, which is called the Widowmaker. It's a classic biker style. This leather is so soft. It's actually much softer than the buffalo hide jacket that I got from them, the Grimshaw Rancher. This is much softer. Much softer from the touch. Love the inside of the paisley interior, this nice dark maroon color paisley interior. Obviously, we got this logo right here that says Master Label, of course. Nice stitching, attention to detail. And I requested for this jacket to have this nice red accent by the lapel because all their newer jackets have this red accent thread on it and I didn't want to be left out so I said, hey, I know the Widowmaker is a little bit older of a model but if you could add this red accent, that would be cool. And they're like, sure. So that's one of the custom features that they did. Love the heavy duty zippers, YKK zippers. And the button snaps, it has the Master Supply logo on. I also love that every zipper has the pull tab, leather pull tab, and the back here, boom. The Master Supply logo in red, so it has a nice contrast that you can see. Look at the detail. Oh, I gotta say, the leather is so much softer than the buffalo hide. So this Widowmaker jacket is made out of a full grain cow hide. Let's go ahead and put it on. Inside, it, ha it has two pockets on the inside. One just open pocket, and another is a zip pocket. Let's go ahead and put it on. Gotta say, the arms are a little tight, first putting it on. Ooh, arms and shoulders are tight, but I think the chest is a little bit bigger because I requested the chest to be bigger. Let's smell it. How does this look, guys? I think it looks awesome. I'll give you some detailed shots. Let's look at the stitching. Look at the detail. Zippers. Zip it out so it has more room. Or if you want a tighter fit, zip it up. Their signature D pocket with the zippers. Let's see how many pockets there are. So there's one pocket here, one pocket here, second pocket, third pocket, fourth pocket, fifth pocket on the inside, seven. Seven pockets for this biker jacket. And it looks so cool. First time owning a biker jacket. Love it. Like I said, so far, 
This experience is amazing. Love Master Supply. Love their attention to detail. I reviewed some other jackets that they forgot button snaps and sizing was wrong and everything. But like I said, Master Supply is always having a great experience. Love the full grain leather. Let's go ahead and see some of the specs on this jacket. So this is 100% full grain natural cowhide leather. This cowhide leather is much softer than the buffalo hide. The buffalo hide leather is really strong and sturdy. Because of that, there's a much longer break in period. However, like I said, right out of the box, you can just feel it. This cowhide is so much softer. And bending my arms like this is so much easier than the Grimshaw Rancher. For that, it took a long time to break in. And for now, I think I'm still not even broken into this jacket. But now for this Widowmaker jacket, I put it on, I can move so much more free. There's not gonna be a long break-in period like the Buffalo Hide Jacket. Full grain cowhide leather crafted with chrome-free, low-impact dyes and vegetable-based tannis. Signature master deep pocket design, which is this over here with the deep pocket design. Custom master leather back neck logo, 100% polyester, signature master paisley print. I love the interior. Look at this. It's a nice, it has a nice shine to it. If you can see, it's a dark, red, maroonish, paisley interior. Love the paisley interior, look at that. Wow, and you got the Master Supply logo over here, the two pockets, and on the right interior, you got this. Right here it says Widowmaker. What's on this? And the other pocket is a nice zip pocket, which you could put any secure stuff like your wallet or phone. YKK nickel plated brass zippers. Like I said, I love everything about this jacket. Love the YKK zippers, they're just so big and sturdy. I know they're not gonna fail on me. Love the pull tabs, attention to detail. Every button snap here has the Master Supply logo. Ooh, let me see if I can unsnap these. Oh, you can, look at that. And this jacket, you might be wondering how much this costs, you know? It's a cowhide full grain jacket made to measure. You're able to customize it to your body type. They have the template sizes. All right, so you guys might be wondering how much this jacket costs. Must be very expensive with this 100% cowhide full grain. It's also customizable, customizable, made to measure. You can, you're able to submit your measurements and they will make it. it must be costing a lot, right? However, if you go right now to their website and buy the Widowmaker, it only costs $330, which is not bad at all. And if you sign up for their newsletters, you get an additional 15% off, which is not bad at all. For a full grain customized leather jacket, under $330 is not bad at all. You guys might be wondering how much this jacket costs. It must be super expensive, right? Because it's 100% full grain cowhide with the YKK zippers, you're able to customize the sizing. Must be really expensive, right? Wrong. This jacket right now, if you go on the website and find the Widowmaker, it only costs $330. $330 for a full grain leather jacket, you're able to customize the sizing is not bad at all. I've looked at a lot of leather jackets and a lot of the full grain customized sizing is all above $350. So to find something like this, that's under 350 bucks is a steal. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, this is only my first impression. I will be doing a review, so stay tuned for that. But that's gonna be it for my unboxing. So far, I'm just really impressed how soft this leather is. I really love Master Supply and every product they have out there. If you guys are looking for a leather jacket, I highly recommend going to check out Master Supply. You can find their Instagram at Master Supply Co. or you can go on their website. But that's gonna be it for this unboxing. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. Feel the feeler. <laughs> Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at MichaelHSU95, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!